Hey folks, Olin here, continuing on with Pillars of Eternity. Uh, we're going to move on to what I assume is the first town of Gilded Vale. Um, you know, given my uh, my experience with these RPGs, that's probably going to take me about a good hour or so, unless it's, uh, you know, unless it's just sort of a mini-story-based uh, sort of village. But I expect there's going to be a couple things, at least a couple side quests, you know, the the, the, the normal. Um, but let's see, yeah? Because, you know, we won't be able to solve this vision thing here, obviously. Something's going to come up, and we're going to have to go quest onward, I guess. That's a lot of hanged men. And women, I guess. You must be one of the new settlers. Welcome to Gilded Vale. You'll be pleased to know that we've had some recent vacancies here. That's a bit of a bit of a excessive pause. You know. Does he does he twiddle a mustache when he says that, I wonder? No no, he does glance behind him though, so. Yeah, are you mad? No wonder this place looks half empty. Yeah, buzzing of flies. Gotcha. Of course, we'll need to make some inquiries first. The inestimable Lord Radric VII has taken great pains to insulate our town from Widewind's legacy. Have you ever conceived a hollow-born child? Yeah, it's a bit personal. And an important one, nevertheless. Lord Raderick has made it his first priority to eliminate this scourge from our village. Mm -hmm. I should warn you, stranger. Here in Gilded Vale, we have a special place for dissidents, charlatans, and those who would hide a curse in our midst. His lordship's yeah. wife is with child and do any day now. Without his approval, I shan't be able to find you a permanent settlement. It will have to wait until after the birth. We can continue our interview then, after the bell tolls from Radric's hold to signal my lord's new heir. In the meantime, you can find temporary accommodations at the inn, just southwest of here. Can I find temporary accommodations in your prison for smacking the hell out of you? I do not like you. Uh, let's see here. I said something about Holoborn. Yeah, yeah. Forget you followers don't have this curse in your homeland. Yada, yada, yada. That... People born without souls doesn't sound like a good thing. Saints War? Hmm. Uh, da -da. <clears throat> yeah, I saw some strange folks. Um... Whatever you know of problem, it sounds like a matter for an animancer. However, the only animancer in Gilded Vale isn't in any condition to speak. Consider yourself fortunate. After she failed Lord Radric, we saw to it that she wouldn't profit from the misplaced trust of others. A bad cure is often worse than none at all. <sighs> but if you're set on finding a bottle of troll piss or a dead Audra pebble to rub on your forehead, you're welcome to check her pockets. A little corpse stink is nothing when you're digging for shit. My advice, however, is to be satisfied that you escaped and leave it at that. Can't Keep I just want out to of smack him. <laughs> Listen. Two tolls. Let that be the last. Three. Gods have mercy. It seems your arrival is ill-timed. I have no clue what three tolls of the bell means. Three bells toll only for the death of a Radric. Ah, okay. I fear Lord Radric's heir is lost, or else Hollowborn, and so lost all the same. You should tread carefully. Circumstances have changed a great deal. Yeah. Blah blah 
blah blah. Gotcha. Um. No, no, no. Get some rest at the end or stable. Blah 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 blah. This seems like such a wonderful town to live in. Um, let's see here. What was the? To whispers and shadows. Let's look at the tree here. Okay. Were you Better. looking for someone in that tree? Uh, I could introduce you. Looking for anyone who can help me feel better. I see. Okay. Let's see here. Angry townspeople. Four people gathered by the door, raised voices, yada yada. Someone's trying to calm them down. Oh. I meant no offense. Let's put this matter to rest over a round, shall we? My treat. Hoping to soothe our pride with a few Adira coppers, eh? We don't need your coin. Ooh, a fight. Nah, nah. Calm down, whatever it's about. A reaction, yada yada. Folk, but no fools. Mocking us. What? Go on. Say it again. I'm itching for an excuse. Fi, you're itching for the kindling touch of your sister, you cocksfeather! Yeah, that's that them's fighting words. I'll cut that barrel looking tongue out of your head. This is a misunderstanding. I didn't say whatever it is you think I said. We've nigh quarrel. What? That's where you're wrong. Um, let's see here. Yeah, inside drinking rather than outside arguing. Oh. Bah. Soul shock him. Why are they all going after me? Oh well. Wow, we just just straight up killed three people. That seems like it would draw attention from town. But you know. Not quite how I hope to get to know the neighbors. Thank you for your timely assistance with that awkward situation. Well, that is one way of putting it. <sighs> Alright. Frame embroidery in his gloves, yada yada. So, he's fancy, but uh, a little bit travel. Well, I suppose gotcha. introductions are in order after that little fiasco. <coughs> Aloth Corvuser, at your service. Uh, I'm a wizard you? by training, and an adventurer by necessity. Well. I was born in the Seathwood. <laughs> Part of the mainland that I didn't of the Adir Empire. Then. And both of Would my parents served the nobility, which afforded me an education for which I'm grateful. However, there were no open positions in those houses, and so I decided to seek new means. And how exactly did you come to be here? Mm -hmm. Yes, we were we were separated with, you know, heavy air quotes. In Gwythan ruins. Oh, those can be dangerous places during the best of times. Which these are not. And half the locals would arrest you for trespassing, and the rest would kill you outright. I'm curious. What exactly did you find there? Yeah, I'll be overly honest. There we go. He goggles at me. Ah, God bless you and your crazy over the top D and D words. I mean, you know, technically, it's through a word, but who uses that in day to day? Just, you just do manage to find day, yourself uh, in rather interesting predicaments. I mean, I've done it once or twice, but that's mostly... Specifically, I'm trying to be over the top when I'm doing it, because, you know... Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see here, how did you... Or what are you doing in here? An excellent question. Yada yada. I came looking for fresh air and cheap land. 
Instead, the magistrate gave me directions to the inn and a story about the local lord's expectant wife. Yeah, same thing. Um... Indeed. In that case, welcome to Gilded Vale. A true Let's refuge from civilization. What did you do to the I'm afraid that was a matter of misunderstandings and mistranslations. It doesn't help that people in these parts remember their war with Adir like it was yesterday. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you did tell him to go fuck his sister. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I heard the same thing. <laughs> Alright, so you don't really look like a sister. Begging your guy. pardon, but neither do you. Yeah. Yes, sir, how should All I, right. given recent events? It's just as well. I've had enough of the watered wine and lumpy beds at the inn. They say even the owner tired of the place. Just up and left one day. It explains quite a lot about the upkeep. Mm -hmm. Perhaps I could join you. I could use a change of scenery, and I find it's better to travel in numbers. So do Excellent. I. I shall follow so you. So do I. All right. Let us loot. Um, clubs, clubs. Dagger, close, close, close. Money, money, money. All right. So... Yes? What do we have here? I'm smarter than the wizard. How interesting. All right. Okay... What? That seems an awkward place. So, you, in order to get to the wizard spells, you need to go to their inventory, right click on their book, and that's where all their spells are? Yeah. Alright. Uh, ta ta ta. He has. Okay. Color spray. <coughs> Sorry, dazzling lights. Uh, fan of flames. Magic missile. Uh, Kalkoth Sunless Grasp, huh? Okay, Chill Touch, Wizard Double, alright, fun times. Gotcha tutorial. Um... Alright, into the inn. <clears throat> Might as well, anyway. So, villager, villager. Indeed. Person to talk to. Greetings. If it's you, yada yada. The cook, the cook said good things about me. How kind of him. Let's see here. Favorite of the house. Discounts on everything. Fantastic. Uh, what about this place? Building's been here for years. New place. Yada yada. New people. Fewer than used to. Cooks the big draw. Nah. Alright. So... Owner just left, and waitress decided to take over. All right. Um, apparently, you can hire people. Uh, I think I'll look around the town, and if I don't find like a good melee person, I'm gonna hire someone. Or you know, maybe I'll just take the party up to like four. It seems like a safe. Nice number. Um, let's see here. Let us sleep. Oh, that's neat. So. Nifty. Uh, what is my. I'll try that one.
so you get buffs for staying in a nice room. That's kind of cool. Sleep is restless and fevered, assaulted by hisses and whispers, blanketed with a, suffering anxi a suffocating anxiety. You open your eyes to awaken and find yourself in front of Gilded Vale's gallows tree. The creaking of its ropes grow louder in your mind until the, uh, until the sound is deafening. Let's see, you're hanging from tree, dwarf woman, yada yada, yada yada yada, yada yada, yada yada yada. Uh, let's see here. Massively parts in a gust of wind of ran uh, rancid air. She speaks the word watcher. Hmm. Okay, so the Animancer called you something in your dreams. Okay. Now, apparently, quest updated to find the, the, the Animancer again. Um. I do, I, I know I've said it before, but I'll say it again, I do actually quite enjoy those, um, those little, like, text adventure bits of Silence the story. Surrounds me. Anyone in particular? Hmm. Reach out for the soul. Oh, that's kind of neat. So I guess those, those yellow people are just kind of backstory lore bits that you can sort of optionally... Okay, cool. I, I like that. Can I go upstairs? Apparently I can. The in guest. Alright. More crazy folks. Okay. Lock picks. Always handy. Um, and I guess outside. You know, seems to work. Alright. Mm -hmm. Villagers. Let's go there. Seems reasonable to me anyway. We'll work our way around uh, around town, I guess. <clears throat> Can I talk to the cat? No. Shame. Alright. Very, very pregnant ladies in front of the fireplace. Greetings. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Who nice cat. Uh, ta -ta. who are you expecting? Oh, Calissa. That's unfortunate. Um, best way to break it to her. Uh, I'm gonna go with one. The rest of them seem a little bit, um, blunt. That one was too, but still. Mm hmm Okay. Um, oh, now she's going to blame herself. Uh, two. She mentioned that she thought you needed help. Perhaps we can provide some assistance. Um, yes, she wants to find a way to make the kid not empty, soulless, hollow, whatever they called it. Um, wow, he's just exiling everyone who has a kid that doesn't... That's unfortunate. Um, hmm. 
Hmm. Uh, da, 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 da. Sure, we'll find them for you. So, and they'll get into the south, cross the wilds to get there, yada yada, we're finding that person for you. Okay. Works for me. So, two targeting circles. Huh. So, like a multi-friendly fire thing going on, apparently. It's interesting. Um, Alright, I guess I should level my characters. Uh, <clears throat> oh wow, okay. Well... Lore is always nice, I like having a lot of lore. Um, however, I'm going to do a little bit of athletics, because... and survival. Because they all seem very handy. Um, ooh, level 2. Okay. So what do we have here? Amplified thrust. So... Target's an ally and then jumps to an enemy doing damage and knocking them back. Okay. Um, mental binding... It... So does it do any damage? No... So it, so it paralyzes the target, um, and then stucks the rest of them. And stuck is just a root with a bit of dexterity reduction and like reduced accuracy. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Excuse me a sec. Sorry, allergies making me cough a bit. Um, so, does damage to the target and then more damage to everything else? Not everything else, but like it jumps to five enemies. It's kind of neat. Um, <clears throat> that seems handy. Uh, so it like it's an AOE that makes all the enemies in the AOE have a reduced deflection, which is kind of cool. Um, Psycho Vampiric Shield. Ooh, I get two. Okay. Um, so it drains the enemy's resolve to give me more deflection. Um, that sounds nice. I like that. Huh. That seems potentially very good. So it... it for 16.8 for seconds, it makes the enemy take 30% of all the damage again. Um, if I read that correctly. Which I probably don't. 
but since Psycho Vampiric Shield is like an average speed, I'm going to take something that goes quickly. Um, I feel that like I, I should get some because it seems like the the cipher has a lot of really cool controlish stuff, right? So let's try this too because I already have the um I already have those those attack powers from the uh, from level one so level two thus far I'm gonna get I'm gonna get the fast like mental binding because paralyzing seems like it's nice um, and then the psycho vampiric shield because more uh, more defense for me always seems like it's a good thing right you know direct melee attacks which seems like a thing that's gonna happen right um, and ranged attacks except for AOE um, so yeah, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for that. Uh, is there more? No. Okay. Wow, I overthought that a bit. I think. Okay. You. Let's do lore and mechanics, and we'll save that point. Um, oh my, spells. Oh, good lord. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, infuse with vital essence. No. Rolling flame. Um, ray of fire. That's... That's neat. Product Lance. Um, that seems fantastic. Uh, mirrored Image. I always love Mirrored Image. Um, dull Mindedness. Okay, that's an AoE sort of. Perception, Intellect, and Resolve debuff. Nice. Um, oh, wow. Like a crit damage buff. Seems nifty. Fetid Caress. Uh, paralyzing. Curse of Blackened Sight. AoE Blind. Just a significant perception or accuracy reduction. Okay. Um, so AoE damage and an endurance buff for themselves. Okay. Uh, e. So just a just a nice shield, okay. Ah, web. AoE confuse. Nice. Um, as I said, I'm gonna go for necrotic lance, and then let's do this dull mindedness. Any sort of intellect and resolve debuff seems like it. It might be nice, um, might be nice in a party with a cipher. Okay, that took longer than I was expecting. Um, back to the hanging tree to see if I can find that, uh, that dwarf. Hey, look, that dwarf. I have Aren't received again? confirmation that Lord Radric's heir was not born well. 
My lord has issued an injunction on all new homesteads until he can be assured that the village has been cleansed of all Aeothasians and whatever other undesirables that have brought this curse upon his lands. Oh, good lord. So the guy who invited everyone to come is now saying, eh. It would be best if you left town as soon as possible. I would suggest returning to your old home. There will be no place for you here. You may stay at the inn until you can make the necessary arrangements, but I would not advise remaining long. I expect Lord Radric will yeah, be... Good Lord. So, yada yada. Be best if you're not here. Wow. Looking for anyone who's who might have brought the legacy upon us. Yada yada yada. Extinguish all possibilities. That seems very ominous. Uh... Mm -hmm. Yeah, what is the Saints' War, I say? Okay. Lasted about a year. Blah, 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 blah. So... Yeah, religious fanatics sort of uh, can put people off of a religion just a smidge. Um, so, why has the population been shrinking? Why the the curse, of course, that makes sense. Um, what about the ruins behind the tree? That's the, the remains of the temple. Okay fun times. Alright. It's that person glowing and making the funny noise. Let's go and talk to them. And by person I mean horribly dead body. Uh-huh. They're definitely dead. Uh, however, let's reach out for the woman. Because, you know... Oh, that's fun. Sudden jolt to my mind. Uh, da -da -da. She's staring at you with eyes clouded with a milky fog. Slow nod of her head, rope creaking as she does show, and she smiles. Have you come here for me, dear? Or have you gotten lost? Ah, uh, it is both, I think. Yes? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, oh, she pities me. The world looks a little different than it used to, is that it? Feels like you're noticing things for the first time that have always been there? Yes, yes, exactly. You have seen past the shroud. It only takes an instant. Your soul remembers, yes? remembers how it sees when it leaves the body, like being reminded of a dream you had forgotten. You are a watcher now, and a watcher you will stay. That begs the question of what is a watcher. What indeed? Long hours have many animancers spent studying such things. Not I, though. Not I. I'll tell you what I know, though, since fair is fair, and here we are, visiting you and I, and it reminds me of better times. Considering you're now a hanged woman, then there are many, many better times, I would expect. Souls pass on. Some say through Audra stones, which are the blood veins of the world. They leave the world for a time and are reborn into it, sometimes more than they were before but usually less and seldom the same. For all souls there is a time where they do not live, yet have not passed on, and those souls roam the world, same as you or I, either leaving or lost. But no one sees them because they have forgotten how. Uh -huh. A watcher sees though, knows what to look for. Gotcha. And sometimes they know a person just by looking at them. Know where they've been in ages past when their bodies were other bodies. See memories even their owner can't recall. 
A wonder to behold when all goes well. A wonder! Uh, yeah. All goes well. What about that? Oh, nothing to be afraid of, I'm sure. It's just much to take in for some. Sometimes there's trouble sleeping or other difficulties. Uh-huh. Right. You should see old Meerwald. He could tell you much more than I. A watcher just like you. Helped many in his day. Took up in an old keep no one would claim. Not far, not far. Kadnua, beyond the Black Meadow. He will welcome the company. Gotcha. I'm not imagining this, however, am I? No, no. I think not. A pity that. It would be simpler. A mercy, then. Do not have to wander anymore, no? Alas, we are here, you and I. Wherever here may be. Gotcha. How Is speak? that what we're doing? Yeah. Perhaps it just seems oh. that way. Yes, Perhaps yes, of it course. is the easiest way for your mind All to make right. sense of uh, it. So I think it I is survived a very a good choice. Biwak. Biwak? Yeah. Okay. Did you now, dear? My, that would be something, wouldn't it? Could be luck, could certainly be. A storm can be a careless thing. Yes, yes they can. Um, or maybe it got its hands around your soul but couldn't pick it up. A soul can be heavy if it stayed in one piece through its time. Strong souls, we call them in the trade. Cold, I mean. Cold them. Those days are all behind me, no? Yeah, yeah they are. Oh, yes. Entropy. Rima Gan's work. Mm -hmm. We know little of why or how. We lose pieces of ourselves when we die and pick up pieces of others when we are born again. But less than what we lost. We try to stop it with the animantic sciences, but with little success. No, no. Hmm. A very small few resist Rimargan's influence and stay together through some force of defiance, at least for a time. But they all succumb eventually, I think. Gotcha. It seems like, uh, put a definite end to the whole world. Really, when you think about it. I mean, if you're just recycling souls and then souls become less and less and less and less over time, eventually, uh, no more soul. Really, or at least not enough to really work. Eh. Me? <laughs> I'll bore you to tears, though. What is an animancer? A student of the soul. Something so basic, yet so poorly understood. Gotcha. But so many breakthroughs have been made in my lifetime. Well, obviously. Had been made. Had mm, been. Yeah. Remember to hear dead. the locals tell it, we're a gang of soul manglers that preys upon the weak-minded. And the worst of us are... Well, there is that whole thing, you know, you can judge a group by the worst of them. But, you know, probably not a, not a good rule of thumb. But the best of us? The best? Inspirations. Miracle mm -hmm. workers. My parents were soul twins. Miserable before they met, empty inside. Mm -hmm. It was an animancer who helped one find the other, turn their lives around. Gotcha. You wouldn't believe the stories. Amnesiacs helped to remember their lives. The suicidal brought back from the brink of oblivion. The elderly afforded extra moments to say their goodbyes. How soon we forget when we're afraid. So depression is an affliction of the soul then? Gotcha. It's a fascinating science. A fascinating Gee. time to be alive in a place like Deerwood that does not control the research, no? I love uh, the Valian Republics for many things, but their recent caution will leave them behind, I fear. Yeah, yeah, the whole uncontrolled research thing kind of makes me think she did some shady stuff. It's, you know, maybe just me a little bit. And here I thought you'd come to visit me in particular. 
Caldara de Baranzi, of the Valian Royal Academy of Animantic Sciences. Not the greatest of their number. Uh, yeah, but what I happened? Can... What happened? Uh... Right. <laughs> oh, come now! Such a question! As though the answer were plain as a rope tied for strangling! Allow an old dwarf her last bit of cheer. <laughs> no. Well, no, I came I where I was needed, didn't I? Offered my services to Lord Radric for a pittance. A humble pittance. Yeah, what did you find? I was to ex Nothing at all. A healthy woman, head to toe, blessed with a beautiful soul. Such a sweet woman, too. Meek, but warm-hearted. A few months' time, and the Lord of the House demanded answers. For a time, I told him what he wanted to hear. Oh, yes, my lord. She is riddled with imbalances. I must have time to cure her. As the birth drew near, he grew impatient, as lords do. And this is where I've ended up. Gotcha. Yeah. Of course. Nothing else. Okay. Goodbye, my dear. Yeah, yeah, it goodbye. Was... All right. So, yeah, this happens a lot. You'll just get used to it. Yeah, I'm a watcher. Okay, okay. I guess he knows what they are, then. Um, do you know anything about watchers? Only that are rare, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, let us talk to him again. Seven. Ta -da -da. Seventeen and a half. No, it could be 18, depending on how you count the dwarf woman. Uh, I'm sorry? The dwarf woman. You were trying to figure out whether to count her as a full person. I, I think you oughta. What are you the talking people about? people hanging from the tree. 18 of them. Well, last I counted, anyway. Uh, okay. <laughs> Name's Adair. Yeah? Though to the people around here, might as well be 19. Don't think I'd put you much higher than 22. 23 tops. You look like the sort that likes to get involved. Ga gotcha. Well, I was smoking over here, saw you staring at her. Twice I refilled my pipe. You never so much as blinked. Your mouth was so slack I took you for a Radrick at first. Impossible. I don't drool that much. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Um, <clears throat> do you know what a watcher Careful, is? Friend. Let's not use that word round here. There'd be any number of Radrick bootlickers within earshot. Ciphers, animancers, watchers. Same thing in the eyes of folks around and here. Two of Radrick those three special. things, apparently. They come to these parts all the time with their cures, preying on the desperate. None of them are who they claim to be. Two of those three. Wonder if the, like that changes based on your class. That'd be kind of interesting. I'm not sure how it would fit with the rest of it, but. Of course, seeing you with that funny look, I'd be halfway inclined to believe you were having some kind of communion with that dwarf. <laughs> Either case, maybe I'm not 19 after all. N no offense. None taken. The town's had it in for me for a long time now. Only fellow who ever stuck up for me, well, he's number 18 up there. My headman on the farm. Used to be my captain during the war. The war? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Uh, da da da. Dryer wooden hello? We blew him up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I gotcha. Got our birth and redemption, yada yada. Alright. Other questions? Why was your headman hanged? Gotcha. Um,. Huh. Wow. That's... That sounds like a good person, sort of? You know? I'll hang everyone if the person involved doesn't step forward, so they step... Eh, okay. Um, what's the town have against Pick you? Pick the wrong god. That's what it comes down to. Used to be a lot of Vathus worshippers in Gilded Vale. 
That mess of rocks over there, that was a temple to him, to give you some idea. Then one day, somebody named Widewind shows up on Deerwood's doorstep. Says he's the living flesh of Aethys. Got an army with him. Suddenly, Aethys isn't so popular in these parts. My brother Woden and me, neither of us believed it. No way was that Aethys. He enlisted, and then I did too. But, uh, he didn't make it back. Just have to... Woden's one of the, the, um, uh, alternate sort of spellings of Odin, uh, if I believe. Wonder if that has anything to do with anything. Probably After doesn't. After the war, but, people you know. took to punishing Aethys worshippers, accusing them of treason. Got real ugly, especially after the legacy mm -hmm. started. Mm -hmm. Folks needed right. someone to blame. Gotcha. I was safe because I fought, but then this rumor starts that my brother, that he was on the wrong side. What? And I wasn't so Aghast. safe anymore. Until my headman stepped in and said they'd have to hang him to get to me. Seems that's no longer a concern. Of course, the townies don't do the hanging these days, but when Raedric's men come, they got no problem doing the pointing. Those people sound like bastards. Um, who's Kolsk? Okay. Um, what are you still doing here? That seems like a good thing to do while you're waiting to be hung. Shrinking, I mean, you know. We could, of course, travel together. Uh huh. Uh -huh. We're headed towards Kernua. Seem gotcha. to remember hearing something about that years ago. He tamed that place. People would seek him out for all kinds of things troubles of the soul, questions for the departed. Of course, that was back when you didn't have to say watcher with a hush on your breath. A man right such as on. that. There'd be things I'd want to ask him. Don't know why I never thought of it before. It wasn't important to the plot, that's why. Not sure how I feel about setting out with a stranger. And a strange one at that. Mm -hmm. I think I'm but offended. truth be told, you might be the only one in town who wouldn't feel some relief. That, yeah, sure. All right, then. Guess I'll do some sightseeing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. As long as you're not the one picking the sights. Hey, wait a second. All right, hey. so what are you? Ooh, we have a fighter, a wizard, and a cipher. That seems like a nice-ish combination there. Um, so that means when I roll up a character, I want to create... I can't imagine they won't be giving me a priest sometime soon. So... I don't know. Either some sort of like thief ish character or another frontline guy since I have two ranged. Yeah. Alright then. Uh, da. Map, we're gonna go over here and check out this place. We can go up here first. Might as well. Loot. And inside. Alright, well, that was a load of backstory, wasn't it? Um, yeah, nothing terribly important, just uh, folks whose souls I can peer into. Which always seems like a fun idea. Just don't want to bore everyone with all that, uh, all that, uh, just random bits of lore. And of course, you know, me talking, because, I mean, why not, right? Hey, Springberry. Okay. Um, I do want to check every once in a while, see if there's any sort of... Like anything else that that might pop up for those sorts of people, or if they're just there to be backstory. I have a feeling they're just there to be sort of window dressing. 
Uh huh. They're deep in conversation. Move to embrace until the woman. Okay. Welcome. Mm hmm. I see. I see. So he's the guy whose friend died to the bear. Gotcha. You're you're in good spirits for someone who just lost a friend. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh wow. Okay. So his friend, her husband, died and they were about to about to embrace. Right. Mm, packing for a trip. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Goodbye. <sighs> yeah, something tells me that he set it up. Because, you know, that's, that's just the sort of horrible things that people do in these sorts of games. Um, up to the mill, I guess. Hello. Someone looking for more grain. See what I can do about that. Probably nothing. Well, no. Of course, I can. I can do more than that. Um, Elven man's in there. Yada yada. Red glances. Hold on. Hold on. Not here to hurt anyone. Um, just came into town. Uh, my name's Inkabe. I just arrived. Bad time. What's all the ruckus? Um, wow, he's claiming that he's hidden all the grain. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Blighted crop causing problems. Um, Or swimmer. Okay. Okay. I'll see what I can do. Something, something's telling me he's actually kind of telling the truth. I mean, because it it looked like a pretty unfortunate situation outside. I mean, come on, they're 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 hanging people just willy nilly on a tree. Uh, I'll I'll believe the story about a blight. <laughs> Really, it seems uh, reasonable, actually. You know, like I, I, I like Fog of War. I just wish it was a little bit, uh, a little bit larger, to be honest. Smithy. Hey, look. Cows. Anything to loot? New. Alright. Um, let's go into the smithy, shall we? So, 
commoner, guard, apprentice, a couple folks to soul gaze, I guess that's what it's called. Um, at least if it isn't, if it isn't that uh, seems a reasonable assumption, though. Uh, is this your shop? Yeah, yeah, I've been here 20 years, okay. What do you have? Um, this looks not what it used to be. What? Oh, okay. Bandits. Makes sense. I'll find your supplies. Oh, fun times. Hello. Right. Let's see the wares. Um, can I sell you some stuff? I can. Fantastic. Is there a difference between these now? Okay. Heater, heater, heater shields. Um, Simple clothing, leather armor, hide. Let's just empty all our pockets, shall we? That seems fantastic. What is this hold wall? stiletto with a backstory. Always fun. Camping supplies. Bunch of stuff. Cape of withdrawal. I, I... Why does my brain immediately go to thinking that the cape has some sort of addiction issues? Uh, probably says strange things about me. Okay. Rope. Seems reasonable. Pry bar. Because, seriously, if you're in any sort of RPG, um, just, just buy the rope. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it, you, you buy a rope, and if you can find, like, a ten-foot pole, buy the ten-foot pole. Um, game designers are nerdy enough that they're going to, uh, going to put in some use for a ten-foot pole somewhere in the game. That or it'll be like a neat Easter egg item somewhere that you have to do something crazy to find, and you'll find rope and a ten foot pole. Trust me on this. Pilgrim's crown. Yep. That makes me even more likely to believe the, uh, the Miller. Where are we? So just an exit south, alright. Um, oh, can we explore the temple, any? Mm -hmm. More things for me to pick up around here. Um, oh right, it's worth mentioning there's also a crafting sort of system, so you can make different bits of food, different potions, stuff like that, in addition to the whole enchantment shtick. Same sort of idea, but just, I guess, different, uh, different bits to put it all together. There's a child. Anything to say, child? Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. Temple used to be closed up and you'd play on the stones. Gotcha. Wretched beast, huh? That's... 
doesn't seem good. More ten. Um, one arm's held loosely against the side, soak the blood. Good day to you. Okay. All right. Better luck with what? Right. Used to be a temple. supposed to be there. Um, all right. Uh, questions? Why can't you yourself? Right, so there's something crazy down there that he's, you know, wanting to find, probably. Okay. Um. <clears throat> sure, I'll find them. Buried secrets. I am going to go try and, um, I'm already, I'm already going up on an hour like I was expecting. I'm going to go see if I can't figure out what's going on with the, um, with the feud about the, um, about the grain. And, uh, try and sort that out. And that's all I'm going to do before heading off for the night, I think. I'm going to do this, the rest of the side quests next time. Well, hopefully next time. Which means I'm gonna go try and find that, uh, try and find that bear now that I have a couple people in my party. Um, that wall that I couldn't climb up in that uh, first outdoor area, I picked up the rope and like grappling hooks, so I should theoretically be able to get up there now. Um, I think there's a couple other things wandering around that are like around here or backtracky, um, so I try and do those. Can I... right. I should probably go and talk to him, too. Yes, yes, it is good to be back, I'm sure. Um, ooh, hey! A savory pie recipe. Fantastic! So did I literally just, just learn a pie recipe? That's kind of savory pie. That's that's wonderful. I like that. Okay. I like that it gave you the recipe as opposed to just um as opposed to just giving you like two of them and then you have to go back to them constantly to buy it, should you ever want it again in the future. Um, let's it actually be a useful sort of, uh, sort of bit of food. Um, so let's talk to these folks down here. Mm -hmm. Good day, stranger. Right... Saw you at the mill. What was that about? Uh huh. What if I 
everybody around while I talk. Okay. So... Hail, Traveler. Buy around for the fellows over there. Um... Okay. Right. Hello! I brought the drinks. Mm hmm. Tell me more about what's going on. Um. Da. Can't keep paying, we're gonna starve. Maybe I can talk to him for you. Hold up the mill, blah blah blah. Okay, so back to him. So they can't really afford to pay him, and he's not paying them enough to buy the grain back after after he mills it. That seems like a really shitty situation, just all around. Just on every side of things. Come on. Run faster. Run faster. Hurry up or else I'm gonna like have to gather my party before venturing forth or something. I mean, I know that really doesn't make all that much sense in this context, but I'm tired, so... Work with me. <clears throat> All right, talking to you again. Hail, traveler. So I spoke to Swinier. Uh, he says you're trading them unfairly, raising prices, and giving them rotten grain. Um, yada yada. What's going on here anyway? Okay, okay. Same whole thing again. Um, seems like a pretty clean situation. A pretty clean story for a messy situation. Yada yada. know about the grain supply. Um. <coughs> <coughs> so the innkeeper knows about this. Um. Uh. Okay, so... So while he's selling some people bad grain, he's selling the better people better grain and giving the rotten uh, rotten eggs like Swimmer uh, bad grain, which makes them angrier at him, which seems like a bad idea, just, just all around. I mean, understandable idea, but uh, not the most well thought out. <clears throat> okay. So the innkeeper knows about it. Good day, stranger. Okay. Let us talk to him. God's key. Again. Yada yada, alright. So I got through to him? Huh. Okay. That seems like it was easier than I 
thought it would be. But, you know, I, I'm cool with that. Um, da. Back over to the miller. And... No, there's no fast forward. Kinda wish there was a fast forward. It would be, uh... It would be useful for like bits like this where you're just 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 waiting. Actually one of the reasons why I, I really prefer a more um like an active approach than the point and click style of gameplay. Um something I was never terribly fond of in like Diablo either. How do you do? Um I I literally I have talked to him. Hello. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay, so I've convinced him to leave your family in peace. Um, yada yada. Um, blah blah blah. Yeah, keep it. You're having a hard time. Um, Cause you know, being a decent human being, even in video games. Yeah, theoretically, it's nice when it pays off in the end. Um, I have a feeling it's it's not going to be like, oh, you've done all the good things in this game, so here, let us reward you way more than if you were a jackass, uh, as is sort of the common thing. Ooh, there is a double speed. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, now now they just look a little silly. I'm okay with that, but it makes me sort of wish there was the uh, Benny Hill song. Was that Yakety Sax? Yeah. Alright, so let us see about hiring a fourth man for our party here. Um, I guess I'll do a, a Hail female, because well it's kind of being a... Ooh, actually, you know what? Here, hold on. Recruit adventures. What's in the store first? Um, nothing particular. Okay. So, level one adventure. Um, do I have any more stuff to sell? No, nah, not all that much. All right. Well, in that case, let's do a, do a level one adventure uh, for 250 copper. Come on. Okay, okay. come on. There we go. Alrighty, um, this might take a while, so I'm going to end it here. And when I pick back up, um, I'll have finished the character and... Um, and we'll go on side quests and then progress further south. Uh, till then, folks. Later.